Hey guys. How's it going everyone? Uh, today I decided to play some Halo 5 because Infection came out, so that's exciting. If you guys don't know, Infection's one of my favorite playlists even though I suck ass at it. I don't think really anyone's good at Infection. Oh yeah, if you didn't see my shirt, my like crop top sweater, it says nerd. I'm pretty cool guys. So anyways, I saw I would talk about, like I said, about like bad sexual experiences uh, because I just thought it would be funny, but they mostly have to do with my first boyfriend only because he, he's the only one that really lasted past like a month or two. <laughs> so uh, one that I can recall is the first time I swallowed, Ugh. so nasty. Like, I get it, like, I didn't know before, but I get it now that, I get now that, depending on what you eat, you taste different. I didn't know that before, so I was like, when I first tried, I was like, nope, never again, this is the worst thing in my life. So we were in my next door neighbor's slash friend's bathroom. God knows, when you're a teenager, you just will fuck anywhere that you can we even had sex on our friend's couch that's so nasty we had sex on his couch well wait i think we had sex or we almost had sex but it just didn't happen so we were in my friend's bathroom and we ended up having sex okay that's simple and so he pulled out and was like, oh yeah, just, you know, put it in your mouth. And I'm like, I guess I'll try for you. Because I kind of really didn't want to. Wow, we are some bright ass motherfuckers. I did just for him. I was like, I'm going to be a good girlfriend and I will swallow for you. Oh, we'll try to anyways. So I did that, put it in my mouth, blah, blah, blah. And so I ended up you know, swallowing, and it was the nastiest thing I've ever tasted in my whole- I think I'd rather eat asshole. I'd rather lick an asshole. Honestly. And I was like, don't- I was sitting there, like, I was crisscrossed on the bathroom floor, and I was like, don't think about it, just don't think about the taste, because it was thick- it tasted like a thicker, warmer version of seawater. Like, it was- it was like a thicker- just like I said, thicker, nastier. I might as well just be in the ocean with my mouth wide fucking open. And I was like, just don't think about it. I was trying to like tell myself to not think about the fucking disgusting taste. And then I just saying not to think about it made me think about it. And then I ended up puking it up. Like it landed on my leg, like a little bit. It wasn't a lot, but it was a little bit. It was honestly, ugh. and the thing is, with him that I never really understood. No matter what fucked up things happen while we're having sex, he never managed to get soft. He always kept a boner. Okay, that was satisfying. No wait, nope, I'm sorry for teabagging your friend. Oh shit. Nope, I'm sorry! Okay. But he always managed to keep a boner no matter, like, even me just throwing up on myself. And you know what he did after I threw up on myself? He laid me back down and we started having sex again. I don't even know, like, how that, after, like, that. This was actually at the end of our relationship. And this is at the point where I'm just like, fuck this guy. I hate him. Get wrecked. Get wrecked. Bitch. Wait, I got that? Yeah, that was mine, right? Why do you get those weapons in the- okay. We were- he drove into the woods. Sounds like some murderous hillbilly backwards shit. Well, he drove into the woods. We ended up having sex in his car. First, I don't know how he ended up doing it. But he like thrusted a, a certain way or something. I don't fucking know. And he hurt me. Like, he actually hurt me really bad. And I ended up- I started crying. I'm laying there on the seat. He's on top of me, and I'm just like bawling my eyes out because it f he fucking hurt me. Like, it hurts so bad. And he's like, he stops. He's still inside me. He goes, 
are you okay? Like, I'm so sorry. And then he lays there for a second. I'm like, yeah, just, you hurt me really bad. Like, I don't know what you did. You just hurt me. And then he stops. Two minutes left. And then he continues. And I'm still crying. And he continues to have sex with me. I was like, really? I was like, honestly, bad. I was just like, I fucking hate you so much right now. If I had... If I was like off of that movie teeth, I would grow teeth in my vagina and bite your dick off. Fuck you. I was so angry. And then, I don't know if it was that time or a time before or after, but this is like one of the other experiences. Is so, don't do this kids. He decided to come inside me and God knows why, I didn't get pregnant or anything. Thank God, I was like one of the lucky ones. I didn't get pregnant and he came inside me. I don't know why I let him. I'm a fucking idiot. I was like 16. I'm a st I'm stupid. Don't don't do what I did, kids. Oh shit. Like honestly, this is kind of unfair for the infected. I feel honestly really bad for them. Oh wait, no. I don't feel bad for them. I I don't feel bad for them. Nope. I don't feel bad for them. To the fuck you, you bitch. Oh my god. Get this guy. He could be your sacrifice. Oh my god. No, I just wanna live! So he came inside me, and you know what he does is, cause we didn't use condoms, like ever. I think we used condoms once, and it just felt, it felt awful. And he gets a condom with spermicide on it, and he grabs it, and he goes like this, and he fucking uses the condom to scoop out stuff, the stuff out of my vagina, and it, my fucking vagina starts burning really bad and here he's having a good old jolly time because it feels fucking amazing because he got to come inside me and then I'm over here laying all awkward having a, a burning vagina full of cum I'm probably pregnant now and this was just not what I was expecting it would feel like so I was like god damn it this is not even worth it what the hell I was so fucking mad if you enjoyed, leave a like. It's been good, guys. See ya.